In this video we're going to talk about needle breaks on caps and what can you do in order to prevent this to happen. Needle breaking on caps is more common than having needle breaks on flats because you are stitching in a round surface Caps normally are more harder for the needles to penetrate and the seam on the middle increases the chances of having needle breaks. Not necessarily means that your machine is having an issue. This is a common problem that all embroiders faces when they are stitching a cap. Big companies like Disneyland has to modify their needle plates in order to avoid that needle breaking on caps. And you might ask yourself, why when I go to the mall, I can see a lot of caps with a beautiful embroidery in the front, and you ask yourself how this embroidery is getting done? Well, the answer is, it's made on flat machines before they assemble the cap. This gives cap factories a huge advantage to stitch anything they want on caps. And the next question might be, so what can I do with my machine in order to stitch caps? And the answer is, you can do a lot. You can do a lot of a beautiful embroidery to a cap that it's already assembled. But you must follow some rules in order to succeed on caps. Unfortunately, not all caps will be easy to stitch. You're going to find out that some caps are going to be more harder than other ones. And also it's going to depend the complexity of the logo. The more complex the logo is, it's going to be harder to stitch it on a cap. Well, in the rest of the video, I'm going to give you some tips that you can follow in order to avoid the needle breaking on caps. And the first tip is your needle. You must use 8012 sharp point needle for caps. Ball point are more likely to break on hard caps than a sharp point. So I will highly recommend to use a sharp needle when you are stitching caps. The second tip is the design. Sometimes you cannot use the same design that you are using for flats, that you're using on a shirt or in a jacket or any flat good. You cannot use that same design on a cap. Sometimes. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. There is a rule for designs on caps. The rule is to digitize from the inside to the outside of the cap. To be honest, sometimes I don't follow that rule. The thing that has been worked for me is that I simplify the digitizing for that particular logo on a cap. Now, the meaning of simplify my logo is probably reducing some underlay, probably reducing some lock stitches, probably uh, add a little bit more pull compensation on the logo and that will make a huge difference to stitch more easy a cap. Well, it's very important to hoop properly. 50% of the quality of the embroidery, even in flats or caps, is going to be the way you are hooping. And to hoop properly sometimes take practice. So I will highly recommend to practice on caps the whole deal is to stretch the cap. It has to be stretched out and uh, very tight. Now, another important detail about embroidery on a cap is the gap between the cap and the needle plate. If you have that gap, like it's showing right now in the video, you are going to have needle breaks for sure. So how can you avoid that? Well, you have an extra needle plate with the red line that the needle plate, it's raised. And that helps eliminate the gap between the needle plate and the cap. Sometimes it works. Sometimes you got a cap that is too tall. And then even with that needle plate can reduce that gap between the needle plate and the cap. That's why as I showed you before, the picture 
of the machines of Disneyland that they have modified the needle plate. They put a washer to reduce that gap. Now, another thing that you can do is to put those clips at the bottom of the cap. That also helps reduce the gap between the cap and the needle plate. Also, a lot of embroiders recommend to press the cap with an iron. That might help, or if you own a heat press, that also might do the work. As you can see in the video, I have reduced my gap at least 80%. Now, another important factor is do not stitch close to the bell. You have to leave at least half an inch between your logo and the bell of the cap. And the reason is the more closer you are stitching to the bell, the more chances are to have needle breaks. Another thing is do not exceed your logo more than two inches tall. Nowadays, there are a lot of accessories out there that can help make caps easier. For example, this Durky cap hoop that it's available on our online store for only $1.95. This great tool allows you to do your caps on a flat surface. It has some limitations, but for sure you're going to be able to stitch more than 2 inches high. Another great tool is this hoop and cap gauge from HoopTech that allows you to load the front panel of the cap, reducing possible gap between your cap and the needle plate of your machine. These two items are a little expensive, but if you're going to do a lot of caps, it's worth the investment.